What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another video. If you haven't yet, subscribe to your boy. So my boy Keon, he got these uh, headlights right here with the black housing. It's got the plastic on it, but they're really just black housing. They're brand new, clear corner, everything. It's pretty nice because these are pretty fogged out, kind of like scratched up and whatnot. We tried to use the headlight restoration, but it didn't really do that well. I think they just shot, like they're no good no more. So we're gonna install these bad boys. These are pretty nice. And he did get um, some new HID bulbs for them, just so like everything's kind of brand new. Also, if y'all are interested in these headlights, I'll have the link down in the description below. All right, so how you take the bumper off is you'll have two pins right here. Same thing on this side. And then over here, you have to take this like pin out so you can get past the inner liner right here. And there should be a bolt like right in this area. Same thing on the other side. And then on the bottom, there's these bolts right here. There should be a few right here throughout the whole, throughout the whole bumper all the way to the other side. All right, y'all see that little hole right there past the liner? That's where the bolt should be. All right, let me just show y'all. So Keon took out the bolt right here took out the two pins right here and he took some bolts off on the bottom and as y'all can see this is already coming out don't forget if you got fog lights don't forget about the fog lights so you don't break the wires or anything like that now he's just doing the other side all right y'all so Keon don't have this bolt right here but this is probably another bolt that you would have to take off so the bumper comes off it goes to the grill and now we got the bumper off and that's what it looks like so now the way the headlights come off is there's a bolt that goes right here there's probably a push pin here that was part of the bumper but now it's off and then now there should be two nuts that are here there's one right here and then there's a other right there those two to give you all a better idea i'll show you on the new one there should be two nuts one here and one here on the bottom then after that the headlights should be able to just pull out and then also don't forget to like, you know, unplug all your switches and plugs, why not? So you don't break anything. All right, y'all, so the way this headlight kind of comes out, there's like a little clip here in this area. Oh, you can kind of see it. Oh, you can't really see it. Right there, there's a little clip right there. So like this part of the headlight, you kind of want to lift up and pull out. And then after you just kind of pull this part out. And that's what it should look like when you take it all out. Boom. All right, let me, just, let me just show y'all real quick. This is that clip thing I was talking about. And then these are the two holes for these two right here. All right, y'all, so I had some spare LEDs around. See, there's some fog lights for Keon. So we got these bulbs for him. They're nice and white. He had these in there, like the regular ones, but we went to upgrade them up. If y'all are wondering, this bulb size right here is a 9006 or HB4. You can see it on this one right here, HB4 9006. That's the fog light bulb size. All right, y'all, so now ballast time. So this one, this is the new one. It's got four screws right here. Two, three, four. That's the old one. Keon's doing it right now. Same thing, should have four. All right, y'all, so now we're doing the ballast. What you do is it's gonna be four screws right here. Take it out, I have like this little strip right here. Then after, you got these three screws right here. One, two, three, then this part comes off. Right, so after you take those three screws out, this comes out. But now, there's like a little clip right in this area. You gotta take this piece out, a little plug. All right, so after this plug comes out, you can see it's got like a little pin right there that clips right into this area. Then after, the, this would be inside here. You can get just like a little flat head, take this off, cause that's what's connected to this. And it'll make it easier for you to take this little motor out. And then for the HID part, you see right here, it'll say open and lock. So you just turn it and it pops out. Similar thing right here. You turn it to the right, it locks. To the left, it unlock. Boom, and it comes out just like that. Then you got those little pins for the actual bulb. All right, y'all, so to take this out right here, it's kind of a little process. So after you unplug all this stuff, right, 
if it if you can't run it through here out this way you can move this counterclockwise and it'll like free up some space in order you to run it out this way um, i would suggest you also take this out just to move it out your way then eventually it'll come out keon over here going super saiyan 3 breaking shit <laughs> All right, y'all, so let me just recap on these headlights because these headlights are something else. So right here, the ballast, you got one, two, three screws. This comes out a little bit. Then you got this switch right here. There's a little pin right here. You kind of take that out and then this eventually comes out, which will lead to here. And here you can see it says open and lock. So it twists it to the left. You open it and then you just pull it out. After that, you get to the bulb right here it says lock to the right so you go to the left and this is what the oem bulb look like so yeah the bulb will be right in there after you take this plug out then there's these two pins right here that keeps this together you can pull this out so now when you take the ballast and this whole connection off to help you out you want to turn this counterclockwise so it kind of moves around in here and then this has the path to come out this way it might you might have to force it a little bit but it'll eventually come out as long as you turn this enough if it's not like coming out just turn it more and more eventually it'll come out then you have this motor right here which is with this piece and switches right to here you can just take this off by a flathead it'll come out and then this part kind of sucks uh, let me see if I can get a better view on this real quick. All right, so this piece right here, the motor, you run the wire kind of like under right here in this piece. You can see it kind of goes like in this little hole part and it comes out this way. And then you plug it, it'll put, like clip it right into this piece right here. And the way this comes out is it'll be inside and the ball will be in this little clip right here. So you could take the clips, you could like prime a little bit so this comes out. Or if you go more on the bottom, you can kind of take out this whole piece. But this grooves, as y'all can see right here and right here. So you have to turn it either to the left or right. I think it's either way, You would, this one you would turn to the right since it's open. And then you'll pull it out. But when you pull it out, it'll still be stuck on here. So you have to unplug that place and then this will fully come out and it'll look like this. And then the new one we have, it comes with a piece like this and you wanna take that little rubber O-ring and use it on the one that you're switching it with. And then while installing it, you kinda wanna put the wire there so that it's already there, you don't forget about it. Match up the grooves. And then boom, you see how it clicked in just like that. So that's in there. Then you kind of just make sure everything's good up top, twist it in. Boom, guess it'll be nice and snug and tight. Clip that right there. And then run that wire. You could run the wire. I prefer to run the ballast because it's bigger first. But you would have to turn this counterclockwise this over here kind of cock eyes so it can open it up so you can slide the ballast in easier and yeah, it's not forced so you can use what was it a 10 i think it was an eight an eight yeah i believe this is an eight millimeter an eight and then just kind of clockwise until the ballast can go in and then out of that you're basically done just put all the lights back in put everything back in all right joe voila this is basically the final product, what it should look like. We added these bulbs and the high beams right here. <laughs> this guy, Keon. This is the bulb size for your high beams. These are the ones we added. He had them extra, so to 9,005. They're kind of like, they should be white, high-end white. So we're about to see how it comes out. All right, go ahead, Keon. Oh, that's nice. I wish those were white. The high beams? But I have to go to LED. On the camera, it looks a little bit more like bluish, but it's whiter in person. Wait, is, it, is those working? The bugs? No, you gotta no. turn them on. 
those are pretty fire. He's got his fogs right there on the bottom. New HIDs, headlights, Woo. Oh, these are looking fire. Headlight. I don't know. Pass me that? Oh, sorry. Look, look, look. 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 Look, it's a little better? Nah, not really. I see a little difference in it. No, on the right. This dude's IS300 is pretty fire. Telling me this ain't fresh right here? What? Ooh, look at those headlights. Nighttime right here. You gonna turn them on? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, they blue, but then when they warm up, they go to white. Yeah, now they're more white in person. Yeah, boy. This boy Keon got some LED bulbs, huh? For the license plate? Jeesh! Now y'all know I had to get the lights for y'all at night. See how bright they are. All right, Kiki. Uh, Look at that, ooh, shining. All right, y'all, so that pretty much wraps it up for the end of this video. Again, I have the link to these headlights in the description down below if y'all interested in them. Um, the bulbs, Keon got the bulbs separately. They were like a 6K, I believe. Um, I had some spare LEDs for his fog lights. He also had another pair for high beams, so they're a little bit more white. But in the end, it definitely came out really good. It gives the front of the car a more new look. It's not blurry no more like it was. Now it's like fresh it up, it looks really nice. I think it looks good. I hope this video was helpful for y'all and y'all enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to your boy, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.